Hello everyone and welcome to this round of Ed Talks. This week it's all about STEM and artificial intelligence in the United States of America. Several federal agencies previously central to STEM funding such as the Department of Education and the National Science Foundation are being repositioned in terms of their roles and priorities. The current administration has placed a sharp focus on AI which is a key component of the broader STEM field. This shift was recently underscored in a White House announcement advancing artificial intelligence education for American youth which outlines new national priorities around AI education and workforce development. So if you're on the lookout for a masters in AI in USA, you're quite in sync with the future. To discuss this, we have with us today Diana Mukut, Head of Student Recruitment Partnerships at Avila University in Arizona. Hello, Ganga. It's truly a pleasure to be here today on Kanam Ed Talks. Uh, thank you for having me and for the opportunity to share some exciting insights into the growing demand for STEM and AI talent, the evolving job market in the United States, and other important trends shaping the future of international education. I also want to take a moment to appreciate Kanam Consultants for the invaluable work you do. Your team consistently provides students with accurate, transparent guidance on study abroad, particularly when it comes to navigating university education in the United States. From academic advice to travel preparation, Kanam commitment to student success is both commendable and impactful. Thank you again for this engaging conversation and look forward to many more such collaborations. Hi, Diana. My first question to you is, why are STEM programs an attractive choice for international students at American universities? Is it jobs? Is it earning potential or the lure of innovation of the future? Also, what is the current establishment's ideology on AI and the future of youth? United States remain a very attractive destination for international students. STEM, standing for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, is more than just a set of disciplines. It's the engine behind some of the world's most dynamic industries and a gateway to rewarding careers. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for STEM occupations in 2023 was approximately $95,000, more than double that what of non-STEM fields, which average about $40,000, $45,000. This significant income gap uh, highlights not only the demand for STEM talent, but the substantial value it offers to graduates. Beyond earning, uh, STEM careers offer high job security, strong returns on investment, and rapid career advancement. In fact, many graduates benefit from accelerated progression through specialization, continuous upskilling, and consistent demand across sectors. Uh, according to the research by Georgetown University Center of Education, and the workforce uh, STEM majors consistently rank among the highest in terms of ROI over a lifetime. Moreover, industry growth in STEM field is uh, outpacing nearly every other sector. The United States Bureau of Labor Statistics projects uh, an 11% growth in STEM employment between um, 2022 and uh, 2032, more than double uh, the rate for non-STEM occupations. Uh, notably, three of the four fastest growing careers today, data scientists, software developers, and information security analysts, are STEM-based roles. What truly sets United States STEM education apart is um, its global impact and relevance. STEM professionals are tackling the world's most pressing issues, be it climate change, uh, public health, digital transformation. For international students, studying in the United States means gaining access to cutting-edge research, leading faculty, and advanced technology infrastructure. It's an opportunity to contribute to meaningful global change while earning a credential that's highly respected around the world. 
U.S. universities are also at the forefront of the future focus skills training. Students can specialize in emerging areas such as artificial intelligence, data science, cybersecurity, healthcare technology, environmental engineering, and renewable energy. These disciplines are not only academically rigorous, but uh, are tight aligned with the current and future employer expectations are worldwide. And finally, the U.S. remains highly supportive of STEM talent through favorable postgraduate work policies. All international graduates are eligible for 12 months of optional practical training, OPT, but those in STEM fields can extend that by additional 24 months, gaining up to three years of professional experience in the United States after completing their degree. This opportunity significantly enhances employability and career readiness uh, for global markets. In short, a STEM degree from United States is more than an education. It's the launchpad for term success, offering unmatched academic quality, professional opportunity, and global impact. It's going to be all about AI and STEM in post-secondary education. Um, did you know as of April 23rd, 2025, President Trump is establishing the White House Task Force on AI Education for American Youth in US. Um, the task force uh, will be chaired by the director of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy and include other key members of the administration such as uh, Secretary of Education, the Secretary of Labor, and the Special Advisor for AI and Crypto. Uh, the task force will plan and help agencies to implement the Presidential AI Challenge, which will encourage and highlight student and educator achievements in AI, promote wide geographic adoption, technological advancement, and foster collaboration between government, academia, philanthropy, and industry to address national challenges and AI solutions. The order directs that Secretary of Education to prioritize the use of AI in discretionary grant programs for teaching, training, and directs the director of the National Science Foundation, NSF, to prioritize research on the use of AI in education. It also instructs that Secretary of Labor to encourage states and grantees to use Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, uh, funding to develop AI skills and support work-based learning opportunities within occupations utilizing AI. The Secretary of Labor through the Assistant Secretary of Labor for Employment and Training, in collaboration with the Director of NSF, will work with state and local workforce organizations and training providers to identify and promote high quality AI skills education coursework and certifications across the country. Wow, that was insightful, Diana. My second question is, why did Avila University choose an Arizona campus location and how industry-driven are these five STEM master's programs that you offer? Avila University has many innovative STEM undergraduate and graduate programs. In Arizona, Avila starting five graduate level STEM programs this fall. A STEM Master of Business Administration in Healthcare Administration, a STEM Master of Business Administration in Project Management, as well as three Master of Science in Technology Management programs. Three concentration, business analytics, uh, artificial intelligence, and data science. Really great, uh, incredibly innovative programs that our international students now can begin. And uh, why particularly Arizona campus? Um, in fiscal year 2024, Arizona achieved a historic record over 50 billion in capital investments flowed into our state. These investments are more than just numbers. They translated into over 24,000 new jobs with an impressive average salary of 75,000. This is not just only a sign of economic strength, but a testament to a vibrant, skilled workforce that calls Arizona home. Arizona has emerged as a true hub of technology and innovation. In Phoenix, 
A rapidly grown tech and startup ecosystem has earned its nickname, the new Silicon Valley. This transformation is bold, it's dynamic, and it's only the beginning. Leading the charge is TSMC with a hundred billion investment in semiconductor manufacturing. With this move, Arizona isn't just participating in the future of technology, it's shaping it. We are well on our way to becoming the nation's computer chip capital. Innovation extends beyond the lab and into our streets. Arizona stands at the forefront of autonomous and smart mobility. Companies like Waymo are setting new standards in transportation. Today, Metro Phoenix boasts the largest self-drying vehicle service in the United States, operating 24-7 and providing that that the future of mobility is already here. Arizona State is also redefining logistics and infrastructure. Imagine receiving packages in under an hour. Amazon Prime, air drone delivery service, makes that reality for lightweight items. Meanwhile, uh, UPS has launched $38 million automated facility capable to processing over 10,000 packages an hour. In Goodyear City alone, logistics have added 1,500 new jobs since the launch of the facility, reinforcing Arizona's strategic role as a national logistic hub. And the momentum doesn't stop here. In the past decade, approximately 630,000 Californians have found new homes and new opportunities right here in Arizona. That's an average of 173 new residents each day. In 2022 alone, 34,000 Californians moved to Phoenix, many drawn by the surge in technology job opportunities. Arizona is no longer a hidden gem. It's a magnet for talent, innovation, and investment. We are building a future where bold ideas find a home, where business thrive, and where communities flourish. It's an exciting time to talk about uh, one of the most dynamic and rapidly growing cities in the United States, Goodyear, Arizona. Located just 20 minutes west of Phoenix, Goodyear has earned its place among the top 10 fastest growing cities in the country. And for a good reason. Um, it's a visionary move. The city of Goodyear extended a special invitation to University Avila to establish its campus in the West Valley. This marks the beginning of unique three-way partnership between Gus North America, Avila University, and the city of Goodyear, a collaboration rooted in shared commitment to education, innovation, and economic development. This partnership opens incredible career pathways for students, placing them in the heart of a city that is not only growing fast, but also strategically positioned as a hub for jobs and key industries. In fiscal year 2024 alone, Goodyear added over 2 million square feet of new development, created more than 1,900 new jobs, and attracted over 500 million in capital investment. These developments are strengthening Goodyear's presence across industrial, life science, and retail sectors, making it a vibrant ecosystem for both learning and career building. Goodyear sits within the greater Phoenix area, which accounts for 75% of Arizona's total employment. Uh, this proximity to a major metropolitan hub translates into exceptional access to job opportunities for students and graduates alike. The city also boasts an unemployment rate of just 3.8% notably lower than the national average, uh, reflecting a healthy, expanding economy and the employer landscape in Goodyear is impressive. The city is home to several major employers, including Amazon with over 4,000 employees, UPS Regional Operations Center employing close to 2,000 people, and Macy's Bloomingdale's with a workforce of 1,500 employees alone. In total, the top 16 employers in Goodyear account for nearly 15,000 jobs with industries ranging from logistics, e-commerce to distribution and advanced manufacturing, 
For students, this means more than just access to high quality education. It means direct exposure to growing industries on the ground internships and the future career placement in the city that is striving economically and welcoming to innovation. Together, GAS North America, Avila University and the City of Goodyear are building something truly special, a new center for academic excellence and economic opportunity in the American Southwest. So my third question, what are CPT and OPT options available at the Arizona campus and will students be getting any support from the university? Thank you, Ganga, for a very important question about CPT and OPT. Let me begin by assuring you students receive comprehensive support throughout their CPT and OPT process. Our dedicated team guides them through every step from eligibility and documentation to employer outreach and training preparation. In terms of campus employment, F1 visa students are eligible to work up to 20 hours per week during academic terms in a role such as admission, student services, IT support and more. Uh, these experiences allow students to develop professional communication skills and gain valuable exposure to U.S. workplace culture. When it comes to curricular practical training, CPT, students can participate in off-campus paid internships that are directly related to their field of study. Goodyear, where our campus is located, boasts a strong and growing network of employers. This includes Microsoft, Amazon Web Services, UPS, Sub-Zero, Nike, City of Hope, Abrazo Health, and many more. Eligible students may intern part-time during academic semesters or full-time during academic breaks, providing excellent pathways to build real-world experience. We also prioritize industry engagement and networking. Our students are regularly invited to participate in local job fairs and leadership events hosted by leading organizations such as Greater Phoenix Economic Council, SMARC, and the Arizona Commerce Authority. These events offer students the opportunity to connect directly with recruiters, hiring managers, and startup leaders from across sectors like technology, healthcare, and logistics. And for the students with the family, we offer additional support. F2 dependent visas are available for spouses and children of F1 students. Um, the process streamlines. Students need to submit a copy of their dependent's passport, updated financial documentation, and our team will issue the necessary F2 I-20s. Our Arizona campus not only provides a quality education, it also delivers the career readiness, practical training, and personal support international students need to thrive during and after their studies in the United States. Awesome. So my fourth question is, what are the upcoming intakes for students to apply? Um, great question. Uh, what are the upcoming intakes for students to apply? We are still accepting late fall, which is October 20th applications uh, for international students. The following intakes, uh, January 2026 and May 2026. Uh, our fall will be August 2026 next year. We look forward to welcoming your students at our beautiful Arizona campus in upcoming terms. Thank you, Kanam, for being our trusted partner guiding our students and for having me today at Kanam Ed Talks. Have a wonderful day and look forward to seeing you in Arizona. Thank you, Diana. That should be great information for students looking at future careers. And remember, Kanam is an ARC certified agency that supports and guides students in the most transparent and ethical way. So connect with our counselors, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our socials to remain updated on the international education sector. And see you soon.